Hello, friends. Great to be back with you on this Monday, and I'm looking forward to having a conversation with Barbie Harder here in just a moment. But before we do that, let's have a prayer together. Heavenly Father, we do thank you, Lord, for what you are doing and continue to do in our health services area. Uh, what a blessing our, our team is there to so many people who have a very uh, just deep needs, both physically and also emotionally. Um, thank you for bringing each and every person to us, both uh, our teammates as well as those that we have the privilege of serving. And just give us strength as we continue to do that to your glory. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, Barbie Harder, thanks for, for joining us today. I appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, get to know you a little bit better. We have done a three things interview with you, so we'll kind of change it up today and just kind of talk about a few topics that are uh, important right now. And one of the things going on right now and has recently, we've had some important weeks of recognition. So, uh, so tell us about that last week and this week and what's kind of coming up in our recognition of, of others. Well, last week was Nurses Week, and um, that's uh, a national holiday where um, we celebrate nurses and all nurses from all different backgrounds. And we just try to say thank you for all that they do and um, just what they bring to the table. And so we had a fun filled week. We had a lot of prizes and gifts and um, fed them some good food from uh, dining services, Jamie and them did a great job. They kept talking about the chocolate cake. So <clears throat> we really appreciate the help that everybody gives us for that. And then this week is National Nursing Home Week. And so we have um, we're doing uh, what we call a trip around the world. And each day is a different country. Um, today is the United States and we're doing Hawaii. So we have like a luau theme. We're going to be doing pina coladas today, and then we have uh, Japan, Germany, and we're going to round out the week in Italy with a, an Italian potluck. Um, all the residents participate. We have different activities for staff, and it's just a way for us to celebrate, um, you know, our area of health care. So, um, and then next month we have CNA week, and that's when we'll um, celebrate our CNAs and our CMAs and, and all that they do for us. So it's busy, busy time. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, just as a reminder to some folks, uh, you serve as the administrator of the health services area, or as we call it, the households. Uh, the households, yes. Yes, we call it the households. We have four four households there. You've got long-term care as well as skilled care that are uh, that is provided in uh, each of those areas. And so, great. You know, uh, it's so important just to acknowledge and appreciate uh, the, the contributions that folks make along the way and to take us a whole week to do that. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of work, I know. So oh, thank you for pulling all that together. I know you had some help in that, too, but yeah. uh, it, it's it's great to be able to just say thank you. So appreciate your, your willingness to do that. One of the things that I wanted you to talk a little bit about is some of the uh, outdoor activities that we're able to do now that the weather is cooperating. And you shared something with me the other day that I thought was pretty exciting. We did on Saturday, we did a planting day. Um, we had a patio full of families and residents and um, it, it was really, it really touched me just like how much um, they enjoy the sunshine and the family participation that we get is just really so touching that so many show up and they brought flowers and they spent the morning outside and the sun was shining. And honestly, I think it's, you know, it's those little things like that that make you say, I, I like what I do and I'm going to keep doing this. You know, it makes all the bad times worth it when you have those moments of joy that um, one of the residents said, um, I said, are you enjoying this? And she said, just look how happy everyone is. And um, and, it, and it's true They, you know, that's that's what keeps you get keeps you going, keeps you right. coming back for more is those happy times. So. You mean that that sometimes your job is hard with with the regulations <laughs> sometimes, and, and sometimes sometimes you know, it is hard. But. State surveyors coming in and all of that. That's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah. of course. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's great to 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 have that uh, that fun time and enjoyable time. It's a great reminder. So I'm glad for for sharing that. Well, what 
What is something uh, you could tell us about the staffing? I know we've had some conversations about the fact that we have for a little while now, quite a while, have needed to have some agency staff that have come in and helped us out. But can you give us an update on on how that is going? Well, we're not completely out of agency. I wish we were, but we are moving steadily in that direction. I know that uh, Brittany, who's our coordinator, our staffing coordinator, is um, really 100% behind that drive, you know, and she has made it her mission to get us out of agency. Um, she hired her last um, it will be our staff on one of our households will be completely our staff, no agency. And um, we haven't had that in over a year. So um, it's exciting. And and honestly, every day we have one full time nurse position left. Um, and, uh, you know, even the start of this year, we had five. So we're moving in the right direction. And that's exciting and something to look forward to. And and hopefully um, here by, I hope it's before the end of the year, but if that's how long it takes, um, I'm willing to, to wait, but I'm hoping that God makes it move faster than that, mm -hmm. but we're looking forward to it. Right. Right. Well, and then the other thing is the mask, the mask might be going away and that's yes. exciting because it's been three years that, um, nursing homes and health service areas have had to wear mask and, um, we're the last ones that are going to be able to get rid of them, and um, we're almost there. Um, it'll be very, very quickly. So, so we're we're actually recording this ahead of time, so that by the time folks see this, pretty sure we'll have made the announcement that the the, the masks will no longer be necessary. The only time that they will be necessary, as I am understanding it, is if we do have a case that comes up, an outbreak. A, yes, an outbreak. Uh, which just means one case. Uh, and so there there probably will be some times where we'll have to go back to using the masks. But at least uh, when the hospitalizations are down and when we don't have anything going on in our community, in the households at least, uh, we'll be able to, to go mask free. So um, yeah, what a great thing to celebrate over three years of having to, to wear those those things. And they, you know, they're helpful and they're good and you know we've been thankful for them but it, they sure do get in the way of just being able to communicate to share smiles <laughs> with right. one another um and uh it'll be a, a great blessing not to not to have to do that so that's it great. will well barbie thank you so much for your leadership uh, we have come a long ways in uh, the last even year year and a half that you've been here and so you've helped to guide us through that and uh, we're, we're very grateful for your willingness to answer the call to be a leader here uh, to do the hard things and to do the fun things too so thank you so much thank you okay.